Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing around in the data center because out here I have my newest server and that is the Lenovo SR650 it's right over here it's it's there and that server I bought well earlier this year and I kind of bought the absolute minimum of a server to get started still a lot of money but I was kind of planning on upgrading it video work and it's interesting to see how you do that so I'm gonna be continuing that today so I have some stuff that has come in and um, as you can see over here we are still working on this folding at home and we are doing really well so if you haven't joined the my playhouse team please do so we have entered top 500 and still moving strong towards the top so um, yeah that is very interesting um, I have some parts here that I want to put in the SR650 that has come in that will enable me to put in a graphics card in this server so here are the parts that has come in to keep the prices of these servers down so that when the server companies had to compete from about some order well they they take everything out of the the basic server so there is absolutely minimum in there and that includes the riser card and I bought a riser card I only need one but I actually bought one for the first CPU and one for the second CPU just uh, actually it was because the shop that I bought these from they had a coupon code that only lasted a few days and I had already looked at this and then well that coupon code was good so yeah I, I took the chance and these are new parts so I will almost think that they didn't actually make any money on this selling it to me but um, yeah it was still expensive I think I paid about hundred and twenty dollars for these two riser cards shipped to my address to um, one of them we need now we might as well get them out of the packaging and see what we have uh, oh it opens so there is one and you got the absolutely non interesting side of it and here is the other one and the Lenovo XR650 it has a kind of a weird setup in the back with the riser cards because one of the riser cards will stay normally in the server first there is a there's a spot over here where there is nothing it's really weird why they did that and then this riser card well it's it's over here compared to this riser card and then there is nothing over here and this one um, doesn't go all the way down because here are the power supplies we're gonna see that when we get in there but they're a nice riser card this is an x16 and there's another one down here but it's 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 an x16 but it's really an x8 as I read this and this one is the primary one it has an x16 up here and then it has an x16 8 4 and 1 so probably yeah not not entirely sh sure what they mean about that but yeah I bought those two so that is great good to have them around and I want to give a special thank you to my patrons which um, which sponsor this so if you're a patron thank you very much and do remember to go over on patreon and watch the weekly patreon videos that um, I post there every week so that you can keep up with what is gonna be happening before it happens not sure if I have told you about this uh, I might have then we have another package from Lenovo but yeah also this I have had to buy myself and it includes cables Lenovo has put a weird connection on the motherboard it's a uh, it's not weird weird but it's a mini 8 pin connection that is on the system board it's kind of awesome because they promise that there is 225 watts in this connection so with this connection you can you can power an ordinary 8 pin you can power an 8 pin and a 6 pin you can power uh, two 6 pins and then there is a connector from 8 pin here to two 8 pins over here I'm a bit iffy about that because these connections are normally 150 watts each and this is 225 so they are kind of 
cheating me a little bit here but this uh, cable selection came in believe me it's blotchy expensive at least $80 worth of cables here maybe even $90 blotchy expensive this is some of the equipment that you should really get if you know you're gonna be using this in your server you should get it while you're buying the server if it comes standard inside of the server Lenovo doesn't charge that much for it if you're like negotiating for 10 servers from Lenovo and, and 10 servers from maybe Dell or HP in those negotiations all this smaller stuff that goes inside of the server that's where they dump the price so you will pay next to nothing for a riser card next to nothing for the cables to the GPU and all of that to compete with the competitors but when you already bought the Lenovo server well there's nowhere else to go so they they decide the price right here we have the server network connection is blinking happily and the power connection is also blinking which means that the server is powered but it's not powered on so i'll go around the back and i'll remove the cables from it and we'll have a good look inside so here we have the server well i put the box over here there's there's nothing underneath here is room for all the hot extra hard drive so this server only has one cpu the but the newest intel scalable cpu i believe it's a silver 40 42 10 i believe 10 cores to i forget but not that important for this video it has a really good rate card down here and it's also prepared for the nvme drives that go in the front the u2 drives they kind of call it also i have a four port 10 gigabit ethernet port over here that is something that i got extra from the awesome people out in eros ecs and uh, they also gave me this bootable device for the lenovo which is also extra from the standard version um, so that is cool so i have that and today we're gonna put in so that i can put a gpu in here as well um it's gonna be a little bit limiting the cpu heatsink is here so this uh, gpu slot over here is limited to about there so that's about how far the the primary gpu can be over here on the secondary gpu there is further back there's like there's like this much more room and uh, also with gpus that also matters she will try to tell you it doesn't matter she's lying um so we're gonna put in the riser cards here one here and one there and um, now you can kind of see that there is this empty spot over here where this plastic thing is sitting i don't know what they were thinking here i do believe it's kind of weird that there is nothing here it's very strange that nothing has been put here and then the the riser card goes here let's just pop them in there's nothing special with that it's just a riser card i'll be sure to leave the product numbers in the description below yeah they're not very good at putting on the product numbers they rather want to advertise the the phone number field replacement units yeah i'll leave it in the description i i know what it is uh because i ordered them need to save this somewhere carefully so let's put that in not hard at all then the next one goes out and we take this one and pop that in instead as i only have one cpu in here this one is is missing only have this one so i can't really use this riser card before i upgrade the server with cpu number two which is of course an awful shame but um, i had to act now to get the good price there then we have the power cables down here we have one power connector and that is for gpu number one i'll shed some light on that there we are gpu power one and that is 225 watts awesome over here in the other end up here is gpu power number two also 225 watts so that is cool that means that the gpu will get 75 watts from the pci express 
slot here and 225 watts from a power connector which means that you can put in two GPUs in here each 300 watts that is not bad I haven't really researched if there are GPUs available that use more than 300 watts but I would not be surprised they are power hungry buggers so this is of course where you pick the cable that you really need and want to go with so if you have a GPU that has an 8 and a 6 pin connection well you can pick that one if you have a GPU with two 8 pin connections well you have that too and of course two 6 pins and then there is the option of just one 8 pin this um, feels like this cable is thicker than the other ones just gonna pop one of them in just to get it just to feel that Okay, that is pretty good that will actually probably reach two gpus if ah, pretty cool okay the connection feels really good but it's also kind of like 225 watts uh, at 12 volts in this little cable here so that is almost 20 amps that are gonna go out that way I guess it's okay and most of the time the GPU won't use all that power so so as I only have the first CPU at the moment I am restricted to uh, put a GPU over here so I can only put a GPU here because only this riser card is active this one will be active when I put in CPU number two um, and the distance from here to here is um, important when I want to go and get something so um, about yeah I should definitely not go over 27 centimeters it looks like uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun so server is back in the rack I even went ahead and I installed server 2019 on it had a little bit of a problem there but otherwise server 2019 it is really easy to install and it more or less finds everything so that is awesome and now I have to go purchase some graphics card to put in this server because the one that I bought the Nvidia GFX 1660 Ti I do believe that's too long so I need to find something less than 27 centimeters and I have already been looking at some graphics card I don't plan on only using this server for folding at home and yeah right now folding at home is fun it might wander off when we get further out there so I might want to have it do other stuff and I really want this server to be a host in a virtual environment and then the VMs on the host will have access to the graphics card so AMD is kind of the best graphics card for that even though they also have a buck like the AMD buck I've actually seen this on my own system it turns up when you restart a virtual machine on the host and that virtual machine has had access to the GPU in that instance it doesn't reset the GPU so that virtual machine will not be able to start up again because it can't get hold of the GPU so what you have to do is is to reboot the host and when the host comes up uh, on a fresh boot you can power up that VM again and it will have access to the GPU until you reboot that VM again and then you have to reboot the host again there is a script that goes around that so that you um, run a script and then it will have reset itself but it's a hassle I must admit it but it's less of a hassle than passing through an Nvidia card because Nvidia they actively don't want you to do that they want you to buy the very expensive uh, grid quattro Tesla you name it all those graphical GPUs where you pay like 10 times the price for like 80% of the performance and so, yeah I know both is possible I'm leaning towards the AMD and yeah I've been looking at the Radeon 56 or is it 5700 XT that's the one that I've been looking at and I have just been checking they are available short enough so yeah this server is now ready for a GPU it's already folding I see that um, in about a one and a half hour I should get 5400 points and it estimates that it will be doing 75,000 points a day this is a entry-level CPU that is in this server it's a 10 core 
2.2 gigahertz I believe it said when I booted it and um, yeah it's doing it's doing good again thank you very much to my patrons who has sponsored this video and the equipment that has gone into the server please remember to like this video and thank you very much for watching do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye